Hey everyone, this video is about a, a scan that I'm going to make with my Huawei Mate 20 Pro phone. And uh, I make this scan with the built-in scanner that this phone has. And uh, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro comes with it as standard. Uh, it's built-in and the software is already there on the phone when you get it. Now here you can see the setup that I'm using. Um, I'm having this bus that I'm going to scan and this is the building uh, projector. It's a laser projector and it uses a camera and two uh, infrared sensors uh, to determine the structure of the image that you're going to capture. And as you can see here, uh, it can't see too close to the camera, so you have to get the, the uh, thing that you are scanning about 20 to 50 centimeters away from your phone, otherwise it won't uh, determine the structure. Now, the structure of this uh, bust that I'm going to scan is very detailed, as you can see here. Uh, it's a very nice Darth, Darth Vader bust, and uh, I found it on the internet. A uh, link will be in the description down below, uh, so you can all find it. And, uh, well, it's a very detailed print, and I think that the, the one who made it, well, he made a work of art. So now I'm going to see how I can scan this image and therefore I'm pressing the scan button and I'm starting the scan. So uh, this software is built in in the Huawei Mate 20 Pro phone. And uh, well, the only thing you have to do is make sure that you are uh, rotating the object that you are going to scan in front of its camera. Now the camera is located now at the top of the screen and uh, I'm turning around this bust so that it can capture it from all sides. So uh, the camera sees the bust from all sides and then when everything turned white and there are no blue spots anymore on the phone screen, uh, then I know that it can't record any more new details uh, on this, uh, this bust. So I have to change the position of my phone uh, in order to make it see things that it, yeah, it didn't see before. So now I'm struggling a bit with the, with the tripod that I have, or it's not really a tripod. I made this thing myself so I can uh, yeah, move it around on the table. And here I'm losing the image, but it doesn't matter because it will pick up the image again itself. And uh, now I have turned around my phone so that the camera is at the bottom side. So it can now uh, scan from another angle than it did before. And uh, I'm, I'm tightening up the arm that I'm using. It's a Manfrotto arm, link will be in the description as well. And here you can see that uh, I'm now capturing from a lower angle and it's able now to scan more details of this bust. So I'm going through uh, all the faces again, uh, turning it around and, and yeah, giving the camera a chance to capture from all sides. Now, this really is a very simple technique and uh, as you can see, it sees my fingers, but because my fingers are not uh, on the same place every time, uh, they won't be scanned. And uh, now I'm just changing the, the angle of the objects versus uh, the rest of the things on the table. And uh, this is just so that, that it can see which is the object and which isn't. Now I'm turning it around and around and uh, this continues for a little while and then I have to again uh, change the angle uh, in which it captures the data because, well, uh, the camera has to be on multiple angles before it can capture everything correctly. So I'm now again uh, repositioning the phone uh, from uh, the object, as you can see here. And I think this Manfrotto arm is, is really some beautiful work of art because uh, with this Manfrotto arm you can just position your, your camera or whatever you are using under different uh, angles of, of uh, what you are recording or in this case 3D scanning. It, it's a great arm. And now again I am just turning around this object uh, so you can see it under different angles. And yeah, it, it's 
just uh, it, it's magnificent how this software uh, just keep tracks uh, keeps track of what you are doing it's 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 very easy to use so i'm just holding it in my hands and and showing it to the camera under different angles and uh, now there is only one part which i haven't scanned and that's the bottom part and just because it didn't see that bottom part uh, it doesn't uh, give me the option to stop the scan and now in the top uh, of the phone screen you see some uh, button pop up i'm going to press it now this is the button that tells you that you have captured enough data to yeah to have a complete scan so this is that Manfrotto arm that I was telling you about. Uh, it's the Manfrotto 244 arm and I think it, it's great. And now the phone is calculating all the data and uh, we can see the scan in just a few seconds. And well, here it is. So here you see the original bust and the scan that the phone made, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro phone. Uh, it's all built in. You don't have to buy this software. This software comes for free if you get this phone. And well, you can see it made a great scan. Uh, it really looks good. The only thing that didn't capture that well was the bottom part. Uh, the bottom part of the skin well I, I had my fingers on top of it every time and therefore it didn't capture enough data uh, to have a good scan but as you can see the rest is really yeah pretty good so I'll let you decide uh, whether you think uh, this is a good scan or not and in another video I will try to reprint uh, this object from the scan that we just made now what do you think? Is this a good scan or isn't it? And well, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and share this video if you like to. Uh, because, well, then you can see how we can reprint this object with the data of this scan. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.